Whether to build the pipeline has been an ongoing debate that has many people split on the issue. Some people here signed up to say that it would benefit our area. Others signed up to say that it could put us all in danger. The people here say that there are several things bus drivers and regular drivers can do when there's snow on the ground, such as not following too closely. They say doing that help ensures that your kids make it back and forth to school safely. Now the National Guard, due to this storm, the National Guard is on standby throughout the valley. Kyrie Stewart is in Stanton right now. So Kyrie, let's toss it over to you. What are these men and women doing to keep us safe in the valley? Staging and practice. I'm at the National Guard Armory here in Stanton, and this Humvee that I'm getting out of is one of several pieces of equipment that the soldiers here have to keep us safe during the storm, whether it's shoveling through snow or whether it's searching for someone. More than 70 men and women have been put on duty during the storm to keep us safe, and around five groups of soldiers have been stationed throughout the state of Virginia to help keep us safe during the storm. Now, I'm told that they haven't been sent out on any missions yet, but they're ready to roll if they do. Some of their duties include to help, to help driving employees and patients to and from the hospital, help removing debris off roadways, and support emergency and rescue teams across the, the valley. Major Brian Gallivan says they're happy to serve the, our community. All of our soldiers uh, do this by choice, and they are here to be uh, relevant and ready providers uh, of emergency services uh, to the Commonwealth. And it's, it's definitely a, it's a deliberate choice that they make and they take a lot of pride in it. Now, they've already been mobilized four, time this, four times this year, and I'm told that they will remain on duty tonight until conditions improve. Live in Stanton, Kyrie Stewart, WHSB. Now, uh, we're going to take a, uh, a move uh, right now because we do know that there are some fire crews that are out, and I'm sure they appreciate this rain. A little busy in the western part of Augusta County fighting the wildfire down there. Kyrie Stewart is near the location of the fire. Kyrie, what kind of challenges are crews facing? I'm where fire crews are staged, just off of Jennings Gap, Jennings Gap Road here in the western part of Augusta County. And if you look behind me, you can see that they're fighting a wildfire just off, just on Little North Mountain here in the western part of the county. And I'm joined here with the fire captain of the Churchville Fire Department, uh, Captain Craig Williams. What are some of the difficulties that these firefighters are facing right now? Uh, we've had some pretty extreme wind conditions up here. It's uh, the wind's gotten away from us several times. Had to pull the crews out, regroup, and go back in. And now that uh, now that we've got it's about 20 to 40 acres involved, roughly, just taking a wild guess for you. Um, now, on our way here, we saw a bunch of homes like on the side of the road in this area. Should people who live in this area be be concerned? No, not at this time. We've got uh, an additional crew, an engine company, sitting along the side for the where the fire's burning down the side of the ridge uh, to be able to protect the uh, the homes out that way. All right, well, thank you, Captain Williams. And WHSB's Emily Sporn, she spoke to some other fire experts on how the dry conditions like today's could lead to some other wildfires.